Hey everyone, this is Hafizullah Masudi and you are watching from Code with Hafiz. I welcome you to the third video of this series on creating an online courses platform with Laravel Jetstream Inertia Plus View. So in our previous video we designed a very nice sidebar. Now in this video I will show you how you can create localization or have multiple languages in your Laravel Jetstream Inertia Plus View project. So before everything else, what we need is here to install a package for localization. So I will install i18n localization package of Vue.js to uh, achieve localization in our application. So let's open a new tab. So in here let's search for i18n Vue.js. So we need to go to this Entlify uh, website. So let's click on it. And then here let's click on get started and let's click on installation so we will install it using yarn package manager as you can see and make sure that you have the latest version selected which is 9.x so let's copy this and let's get back to our terminal and I will paste the code I'm al already in the project directory so let's press enter so the package has been installed successfully let's get back to uh, our Visual Studio Code or I don't have open it so let's open it in Visual Studio Code and in here first of all we need to register the package so let's go to resources js app.js and in here let me close the sidebar first so after our app name let's press enter and first of all we will uh, create the local uh, variable in our local st storage so let's say lo let local and uh, this should equal to local storage like this and then dot so first of all we want to get it if we have it there so let's say local and now we want to check for this variable so let's say if we don't have local so if we have it then we will store it in this variable and if we don't have it we will create one so let's say uh, local storage so this should be local storage dot set item and we want to name it locale and then inside it uh, we want to store in or for english and after we set it we already have this locale variable here so now we want to set this one to the new one inside the if statement so let's say locale should equal to then we want to get the item again so let's copy this and let's paste it here and after we do this uh, we want to assign it to the window variable so let's say window.local should equal to local like this now the next part is to import our package so in here let's say import curly braces and let's say uh, for example create i18n and in the uh, path let's say slash we want to go to dist slash and then let's say view i18n and then dot cjs like this now the next part is to have our messages so uh, we will create a separate file for it for now let's just import it here so let's say import messages from dot slash messages now we will create this file in a moment after we create uh, the localization uh, object so let's say const i 18 n should equal to let's say create i or this should be create i 18 n and then parentheses curly braces so in here we want to use the local which we have uh, at the above so let's say local and then comma we want to use a fallback uh, local and this one will be well this is a colon and this one will be e in or english and let's say global injection and we want to make this one true and finally we want to use our messages like this now this being done now we have to use this in our application so let's just scroll down and let's duplicate uh, this one and paste our code like this now the next part is to create this messages well this should be messages like this and now we need to create this file so let's right click on js folder new file messages.js and in here now we will write our code 
so let's create a messages variable which will be const so let's say messages and it will be an object so let's equal it to uh, curly braces and inside here we can have English and we can also have another language for example Arabic and then curly braces so let's uh, translate a word here for example dashboard so let's say dashboard so in English it should be dashboard uh, like this and in Arabic let's say dashboard like this and uh, in Arabic it should be for example uh, dashboard like this now we need to export the default so let's say export default messages like this now this being done now we can apply it in our app layout so let's go to layouts app layout and let me close the sidebar and wrap the text too so in here the first thing we need is to uh, import our data that we want to use for the localization so let's uh, scroll to the very bottom to our script and first of all let's create a data property by the name of locale which will be empty by default now we will get this one from a, a window locale so for that we need our mounted hook to always load it when the page is being loaded so let's say this dot locale should equal to window dot locale like this now the next part is to create a language switcher to switch between the languages so we will create it inside our nav so let's scroll to our nav code which is in here so let's scroll down and this is our dashboard so first of all let's translate this word uh, and then we will create the language switcher so let's say double curly braces and to translate a word we can use dollar sign et and then parenthesis and then quotation and let's say dashboard like this now it will load or look for this dashboard in our messages.js file and whatever language is in our local storage it will translate it from here so let's scroll down in here now I will create uh, this uh, language switcher before this hidden diff so let's minimize this one like this and let's press enter here so let's create a flex or a div with a class of flex and items center and justify hyphen end and let's say which should be and this should be a dot and let's say which should be full and let's say in small screens it should be ms hyphen 6 inside here let's create uh, another div which will be relative so let's say dot ms hyphen 3 dot relative and inside here we will have a select with a class of bg gray and let's also say for example well this should be let's say dash 50 and then let's say border well let's create this one and now we will write uh, our other code so I will remove these two and let's press enter like this and in here uh, let's say for example some other classes border should be gray hyphen 300 and text should be gray 900 and text should be small rounded dash lg and let's say focus ring should be blue 500 and let's say focus border should be blue 500 and let's say it should be block which should be full and let's declare some dark uh, properties so dark bg gray and uh, let's say it should be 700 let's say dark border should be gray 600 and let's say dark placeholder should be gray 400 and let's say dark text and uh, for example text should be white and dark focus ring should be blue 500 and let's say dark focus 
border should be blue 500 now this being done let's create some options so let's say option and the first one will be English so let's say English and let's duplicate it this one will be Arabic and let's say AR now this being done let's assign an add click or add change uh, event well this is a select button so it will have a, a change event so let's say add change and we wanna uh, call a function so let's say change local and we also wanna assign the property or the value of the select element to our uh, local data property so we can use v dash model for it and in here we want to use local like this now we need to create this function so let's just scroll down and we will have our methods here so let's put a comma here and let's say methods and inside here let's say change local it will have an event so for this one let's say local storage dot set item and we want to set the local to the new local which is event dot target dot value then we want to set the local in our global property so it will be in window dollar sign and let's say i 18 and dot global and then let's say dot local and it should equal to event dot target dot value now we don't have this one so we need to create it now let's copy this let's get back to app.js and in here you can see we have this so we can assign it like this so let's say equal so this should equal to i 18 n and that's all for this one so this being done let's uh, assign it to some other variables too so I will duplicate it now this time it is directly in uh, the root so instead of window let's say this dot dollar sign root and then dot 18 or dollar sign i 18 n and then dot local and after this we want to assign it to the local do data property in here so for that uh, let's select this one and let's say this dot local should equal to the new local and after this we have the window variable so instead of this let's say window dot local now this being done we can test our application already so let's get back to the browser and our dashboard so let's refresh and let's open the console to not miss any errors so let's try to update to Arabic and you can see it is working and if I refresh it is also working and if we change it back you can see it is changing the text now this being done the next thing I want to show you is how you can change the direction of the sidebar and all other stuff to RTL after we change to an RTL supported language for example if we select Arabic we know that uh, things in here or everything in here should be RTL so let's first of all start from the entire page so let's get back to Visual Studio Code and in here let's scroll to the top a little bit and we wanna uh, assign the direction to this diff because everything is loaded inside this diff so let's say dir and it will be binded to the view data property so let's say it should be equal to we want to check uh, for the local so for that reason let's use template literals and then dollar sign curly braces and we want to check for the local if it is equal to english so we want to have ltr and else we want to have uh, rtl so if i save it now get back to the browser you can see everything is rtl so if we change it back you can see it is now ltr so let's change it back to arabic now we want to move the sidebar to the right so let's get back to visual studio code and let's find our sidebar here so let's scroll down and yeah this is our sidebar so in here the thing first of all we want to change or check for is this left is zero so what I will do is I will cut it I already have template letters here so let's say dollar sign curly braces and in here I want to check for the locale so let's say locale and we want to check if it is equal to English so uh, question mark 
we want to say left should be 0 and else we want to say right should be 0 like this and besides this we also want to now check uh, this minus translate x full also with the locale so if the locale is English we want to uh, have this minus sign and if it is uh, another language rather than English we want to remove this minus so what we can do is we can uh, check entire for this entire class let's cut it like this and let's put parenthesis so let's check for local so let's say if local is equal to English then we wanna uh, put uh, minus translate uh, x full and else we wanna have the same class but without a minus so let's remove uh, the minus like this so now if we get back to the browser you can see it is working just fine and now we also want to fix this content so let's get back to visual studio code and let's just scroll down a little bit to our content so where is our content and yeah this is the content part so in here we have this margin left just we just want to change this one according to the local to margin right so let's bind it to view object and now I will cut this class from here template literals and dollar sign curly braces we want to check for local if it is English then we want to have uh, this class and if it is uh, not English we want to have a margin right 64 so if I save this get back to the browser and now you can see it is working just fine so if we change it it will work it like this and if we change it to Arabic it will also work like this now what about the responsiveness so if we turn the mobile view here so you can see this one is already working just fine so if I change the language it will bring the sidebar to the left now let's close the mobile view now this being done this was all about this video so I hope you enjoyed watching the video and found it useful if so don't forget to hit the like button and leave a nice comment too and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe too if you want more videos like this. Now thanks for watching and I beg you farewell. Have a nice day.